everyone, what's going on? Joey Contino here, and it's time again for the monthly Wildwoods construction update video. That's where we drive around the entire Wildwoods and we find all the projects you guys have asked about, all the projects that are undergoing, and some new projects you have no idea about. Showcase them for you in one video and do it all hopefully within 35 minutes. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe, you turn on notifications, and you give this video a thumbs up. A special thank you out to my patrons on patreon.com. It's because of them we can spend a random Wednesday here in winter driving around the island for five hours filming them for you. If you want to go ahead and support this channel, all you have to do is click the links in the description below. Anyway, let's get started. Thank you to everyone who suggested some of these new places. Some of them we haven't talked about in a while, while other ones are ones that you guys actually wrote in the comment section. So if there is a project going on down here that you want us to talk about, just let us know in the comment section. Right now, we're starting off at the North Shore, which, oh my gosh, looks so very different than what it used to look like. For those who don't know, it's going through a massive renovation, which is pretty much tearing down the entire thing, building two stories up. It's gonna have these great garage doors so you can see the sunset. It's gonna be amazing once it's done. But right now, man, does it look weird because there's really nothing left except for like the kitchen area on the far, far side. Let me give you a quick little tour. This is looking at the North Shore from 3rd and New York Avenue. Yes, it looks really weird. You can clearly see most of the building is gone. <laughs> yes, the foundations are still down there. And they're going to be putting in the concrete work soon. Obviously, it's kind of cold right now. So they're probably maybe waiting it out. But they still have the original ones you can see laying down. Not sure if they have to rip all of that up. This side of the building is still standing. It doesn't look like they're going to be touching this as much. I'm going to walk down because when you look in from the other end, it looks strange. I mean, this looks normal. And then you go this way and it's like, oh, where's, where's the bar? Where's the restaurant? It's all gone. There is no exact date on when this is opening, but I'm being told it will be ready for the summer. So I don't know if that means Memorial Day weekend or sometime in June. Anyway, we got a lot of projects to hit, so let's get moving. We are now at 23rd and the boardwalk because you guys still have a lot of questions about what's going on here at the old Johnson slash Quality Inn slash Hammock. You name it, it's been so many different things. I still call it the King's Inn because that's what I remember growing up. Um, the owner did reach out to me. We were unable to connect on like going through details and plans, but hopefully in the coming weeks we can. I will tell you this, they're doing a lot of work inside. You can kind of see the windows, they kind of like frosted a little bit. They're currently painting. And when I mean painting, like they're painting everything. I do know they ripped up the bathrooms, they put new sheetrock, they put in new drywall. It looked like they were putting in some kind of tile. So I can't tell still whether or not this is going condo, if this is going to be a motel. All good information, all good questions. I just don't know yet. You can see that their lobby has been completely ripped out. And as you pan over, every room is getting redone. The room numbers are still on there and the signs are still up, which tells me it's still probably going to be a motel. But no, uh, no answers for you guys just yet. As I said before, I do hope to get some kind of answers for you guys in the coming weeks. Just got to connect. Sometimes it's, it's very hard to talk to some owners. Um, so hopefully, in the next few weeks, we'll, we'll get some answers for you. While we're on this side of the boardwalk, we have to stop by and see Quinn's, which if you noticed, they painted the whole front. This looks really, really good. I know they're opening very soon. They have a bunch of videos and photos online showing what it looks like. And so I'm gonna share that with you. Check it out. We are so beyond excited for them. I really think they open very shortly. I thought maybe I saw February online. Could be a little bit later, but I am so excited for them and I can't wait to try all the fudge they have going on. And we will do a video. I want to do a video and try some of their fudge for you because it's not every day we get a new fudge place, like a regional new fudge place up on the boardwalk. And with all the experience he has 
we're expected to get some really, really good flavors. Anyway, let's continue. We are now at 26th Street and the boardwalk because we are well underway into phase two of the Wildwood Boardwalk Reconstruction Project. Crews are actually working on here today. They're installing the very first layer of woods. That's what goes long ways. And then eventually they'll go ahead and put the two by fours on top, which will match exactly what they did all the way from Oak to Maple Avenue. This section right here is from Oak all the way to 26th Street. Those who are coming for Sam's Pizza opening day, you are still able to access Sam's Pizza. If you are doing takeout, you're going to come up over here on a 26th Street ramp. You go to that side window, you order your food, and you skedaddle down. If you plan on dining in, go into Juniper Avenue on the other side. There's an emergency door. You're going to walk through that way and get a table. Anyway, I got the drill with me, so let's get the seagull in the sky to show you what the project looks like. <laughs> who are wondering will this be done by Memorial Day weekend I mean at the speed they're going at remember we're like only in the first week of February yeah this will definitely be ready to go for Memorial Day weekend anyway let's continue on our tour we are now at Scalinger and Pacific Avenue and man the wind my wife's joking behind the camera the wind's so strong I have to spread out so I don't get like thrown away into the wind but there's a lot of projects taking place over here, and obviously we're going to talk about the residences on Pacific Avenue. But really, what's really cool to talk about is what's going on over here behind me. You see, this used to be a bank, and I feel like it's been there for like 90-something odd years. And right now, BG Capital, who also owns the 38 dwellings down in Magnolia, this building here, exit 6 bar, exit 4, and a couple other properties, including the old Shamrock area and then the Crest Hardware. Anyway... They also bought this lot because in order to do the residences here on Pacific Avenue, they had to have a parking lot. Remember, this is going to have a bar. It's also going to have a liquor store, so they needed somewhere to park. They purchased this bank here, and something really funny happened. Remember, it's a bank. What do banks all have? They have massive vaults, and because this bank was built like in the 1930s or 1940s, its bank, the vault itself, was made with reinforced concrete, with steel, you name it. So as they were knocking down this building, they originally couldn't knock down the safe. So they had to get a lot of heavy equipment in there. And you can kind of see parts of the safe still sitting there. And they are thick. It looks like they're, at least in some sections, two feet thick versus other sections that is a foot thick. But I want to go ahead and just share this with you because it's kind of cool. It's this history over here. I originally showed you guys a photo from the window at Safer. It looked really, really cool. I wanted to go in there and check it out before they knocked it down, but I was told that it was way too dangerous. I completely understand. So let me go ahead and just give you a quick little tour. We're going to start our tour on Skellinger Avenue, where you can see one of the original safes here cracked open. That is extremely, extremely nifty. The original massive box itself, they used to have all the safes in it, was sitting right over here and they used to have smaller inside like little inserts you could pull in and out which were those shelves over here looks really cool right by shelves this is kind of what i was talking about i'm going to flip the camera around for you because one of them's actually sitting on the street over here which is kind of a strange one here and one there so as you can imagine this would slide in and out of those massive boxes over there and then you'll put it on the table you would open it up, get out all your personal belongings, which, I mean, this one is, is clearly empty. And then you would close it up and slide it right back into place. So I'm going to put this over here put it on the street. And they had different sizes. This was another one here. I mean, clearly they're empty, but pretty cool to see just, you know, random bank stuff on the street. You can see other boxes, too. There's another one right over here. It's a little blurry. Let's see if I can focus it in for you. And so this is all that's left of that bank. It used to have an overhang over there and you had tellers that you can go up, get your money and head out. 
But as far as I remember, this place has been abandoned and empty. Gosh, I want to say for at least the past 20 years. You see, this was another safe that they took the doors off of. It's another one over here. Ooh, the wind's really picking up. You can see the fence moving. But a lot of people asked about the Dragon House. The Dragon House is still standing. Don't worry, they're not going anywhere. This was the original entrance in. You can see how big this property was. And there really isn't much left. They're ripping it down. They have a dumpster in the back and they're piling the stuff into it. And then this is the Dragon House. And we were joking because we were saying that this side of the Dragon House probably hasn't seen light in a very, very long time. We will flip the camera around onto the residences here on Pacific Avenue and it looks great. They added in railings. They have all the windows in. They added in lights on the outside, though I haven't seen it lit up just yet. We're still waiting for the sign to come in, which will sit up here. And uh, ultimately, I, I mean, it looks like all the work that's really left is going to be on the inside. It looks really good. One thing I want to share with you over here, though, is that Romeo's got their sign back. It looks great, right? And you also don't realize how big that sign is. It looks small over there, but when it's on the ground, it's, it's pretty tall. It's been roughly a year since the Shamrock has moved from that corner over there to over here. A lot of folks asked, what does the house look like now? Well, here you go. Um, it's still, the base is still being built, but as you can tell, it's built way higher than it was before. But the work, it's getting done. It looks really good so far. I just so happened to be walking next to the residence on Pacific Avenue and just realized a little piece over here is down, so let's take a peek inside. So I believe that this is where the liquor store is, or I think so. You can see they're building it out. A lot of insulation in there. That's about it. It is nice to be walking over here because before this was all roped off and now you can actually walk over here. It really is gonna be nice once this is all done. I honestly can't wait. We are now in front of the Marvis Diner because man, work is really moving along and this place looks great. Let's go ahead and show you around. You can see they're laying out right now, landscaping, and they took down all the wood around the windows. We can kind of take a peek, but really, let's first look at this work. They bought, they bumped this out. This looks great. It's adding in a waiting area and, of course, more areas to eat. I do love all their system updating signs. They've been, this is like their theme. They've been running with this off season between this one and the one over here. It really is cute. But we're going to pan over here because this is where the majority of the work is taking place. But look at this. This used to be parking that they got rid of. The new parking lot is behind the building. This is outdoor seating to kind of mimic the other side. I mean, oh my gosh, this looks so good. And for the parking, for those who did have questions, the parking lot is way back over here. It's actually more parking than before, because if you remember, the parking situation over here was never really fun. It's always hard to get in and out of this lot. So now they have that parking lot and this parking lot, and I believe the one actually another block down that way. But I have to say, this looks amazing. This looks better than the mock-ups we were originally shown. And while we're over here, we're going to cross the street because I told you guys that Mudham was building their own cottages, a place that you can go to as a cottage community, pretty much was what it's going to be called. And well, I didn't realize how quickly they would be building these cottages. Oh my gosh, <laughs> it's insane. So we're going to do a quick tour around this. Before I show you around, let me refresh your memory with some photos of what this is going to look like once it's done. Take a look. So imagine that, and then imagine where we are now. They have at least 20 guys working right now on every little part of this entire project. On the main house, on the cottages. Out of all the cottages, I actually think only this one's the last one that they haven't really started on, even though they did because they put the foundation down, they added in the first base layer, and then they're gonna go vertical within a week. These ones over here, I was here roughly about three weeks ago, four weeks ago on this exact spot. And this wasn't like this, this was completely flat. So they added in these massive foundations. They redid the foundation here. They added on the back of that house. They built these ones 
and then before you know it, they're going to start adding siding. Here's going to be a pool. This place is going to be really, really great once it's done. Mudhand knows how to do things right, and they promise to do this one right. And I can't wait to share it with you and really give you a tour. Hopefully in a month, this thing will look completely different. Anyway, let's go ahead. This is too exciting. We're standing outside of probably the number one thing you guys have been asking about, and that is Starbucks. What's going on, Joey? Well, since our last update, nothing really much happened. We were here when they were laying all the concrete work. You can see all the curb is in. This is the drive through over here. The main building is going to be right here in the middle. You can see that kind of like curve. That's another drive for you to actually enter in because you can enter right here on Rio Grande Avenue. The parking lot is kind of back over that way, but Really nothing has happened. We are now outside the beach house because it's now called the beach house. They actually have a sign up here so we can no longer call this the Lou Fran as it now officially has a brand new sign and a new name and it's coming together really nicely. I love the colors. It's like baby blue almost and this gray with the white windows. They did such an amazing job. Remember they ripped this down all the way down to the studs and a roof. There was a lot of work going on in here and this thing looks great. I was told that you can start booking this place for the summer, though I didn't see any links online, but stay tuned because I'm pretty sure our summer's around the corner. I'm pretty sure they're going to start booking this thing up very, very quickly. Here is the front of the now beach house. It looks great. It looks strange without the marine aqua blue kind of color they had going on. But crews are working right now. It's cold out, but they're, they're doing a great job. I mean, look at this thing. I really like that. Oh, they put a little sign here in the front. It says beach house on here. <laughs> it really looks cool. I mean, this is going to be their lobby. You can see they put in a ramp in here. And uh, nothing really going on just yet. But, um, yeah, it's coming together really, really nicely. One of the last projects we're going to talk about is a brand new project. It is about the Wildwood Crest headquarters for the Beach Patrol. And it's kind of interesting because a lot of people are getting confused on what's actually going on here. Essentially, back in 2021, Crest realized, look, we need to do something about this building. This building has been here since the 1950s, and it needs a lot of work. There's leaking, there's a lot of issues, and so they submitted to the New Jersey's DEP slash CAFRA because it's right on the beach. They finally got the approval, and so they're moving forward with it. This is what it's going to look like once it's done. And while people see that photo, they think, oh, they're knocking this building down to do that. No, no, they're keeping this building. This building is the same exact building that's in that photo, but they're adding 15 feet to it. They're adding a pitched roof because the flat roof itself is causing a lot of water to sit on there and then leak inside the building. They're redoing the bathrooms. Everything about this building is getting redone. Just a quick little history for you is that this original section right here, this door, this ramp, the kind of garage thing here, and this here is the original, and I mean the original lifeguard stand on the headquarters they built here in the 50s then like in the 70s they added a top layer on top of it so imagine that they're still using something from the 50s that this this needs a lot of tender love and care and so this new project once approved will allow them to do this now people are asking me is it going to be ready in time for summer i believe it's going to be like this for the summer and then next year they'll get started on it because a project at this magnitude it's gonna take a long time. Anyway, we got one more place to go. Let's do it. We are at our final project. This is on Atlanta Avenue and the beach because a lot of you have been saying to me, Joey, the Lamplighter Motel and Resort used to be one of my favorites. Could you please give us an update about what's happening to the land? And for a while it sat vacant because essentially they had submitted something to City Hall and it was taking time to get it approved. And remember, because we're on the beach, you need a calf or so on and so forth. But several months back, they did start to build a massive house on the property. That's right. They're building one family house and you can see it right behind me. It is gorgeous and it's going to be gorgeous when it's done. Whoever owns this, oh my gosh, their views are going to be fantastic. I'm a little sad though, because I don't like to see motels be torn down for a single family house. I think that a motel that makes beautiful memories for families should be replaced with a motel that will also make beautiful memories for families. But I have to admit, this, this is gorgeous. This is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, the Mark II next door is open. I mean, in a way open as it's, like, it's still standing, it's still there. People have bought some units. Some of them I think are still for sale, um, but that looks really good as well. But 
yeah, for those asking about the lamplighter and Oceanside, you've got condos over there and then this beautiful house in front. Anyway, I want to thank you guys for joining me on this month's version of the Wildwoods construction update video. If there's something that you want to see that we didn't cover, let me know in the comment section. And I want to thank you guys for joining me. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe, turn on notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. And as always, I'll see you on the beach, which is right over here conveniently enough. Anyway, I'll see you later. Bye.